Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another community zoo tour. And in this video, we're going to check out Pollock Zoo made by fellow Dachi, Cedric S. As always, if you want to check out this zoo yourself, then please do make sure to check the link in the description of this video. And please do not forget to leave a like at the Steam Workshop item because it really does help out any creator out there with their rating and the appreciation for their incredible hard work. Thank you so much, Cedric, for sending your zoo to us for a showcase on the channel. Really do appreciate it. And if you have a finished zoo you would like me to check out as well on the channel, then please do make sure to read the description of this video of how you can send me your finished zoo. And who knows, I might be able to check out your zoo as well on the channel in the future. Now, without further talking, let's go and jump into Pollock's zoo. I am already very impressed by this beautiful shape of the entrance. This looks really good, very promising. We have a parking lot here as well. Oh, there, oh, you see the guy is actually waving to us. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm guessing, but maybe you did make these cars yourself, but many people do download these from the Steam Workshop. But nonetheless, this parking lot looks absolutely amazing. Look at this ticket booth building as well, by the way. This looks really good. All right, let's go in and, and go under this beautiful, well-shaped entrance. It looks <laughs> really impressive. Uh, we have some toilets on the right side. We have some green on the walls. I like these little details. That looks really nice. And uh, what do we have right over here? <gasps> we have some otters! Oh my god, isn't that like absolutely fantastic? You just come in this zoo and right away see the giant otter. Oh man, let me just have a look in here. Look at that rock work. That looks so good. I love the foliage work in here as well. I like it that you use these tree branches here for some extra decorations. That's very inspiring. I, I never used that before like that, but that looks really nice. Oh man, I can stand here for hours, guys, because I just love seeing animals swim in this game. It looks absolutely fantastic. So on the other side, what do we have right over here? Look at that again. I love the rock work here. What kind of habitat is this? I see a toy looking at the climbing frames, which also look fantastic. This, this is probably some kind of climbing animal. It's the orangutan. You're kidding. Oh, I love this. I think the, isn't the orangutan going to have like the upgraded climbing frames with the conservation pack. I think the orangutan, at least I hope that they're going to um, add a few other uh, primates and stuff that they're going to be able to do the branchation, I think it's called. Man, that would give this whole habitat such an extra dimension. But uh, seriously, this looks really incredible. I love the climbing frames in here. It looks so good, like really good absolutely love it really great job um as always we should go to the right but i want to first check this beautiful fountain right over here oh i like that you actually added the name of the zoo in here oh that's really cool oh, it looks so beautiful and tropical man this looks really nice okay we're gonna follow the right side as always, this is a habitat. I'm not really sure, but I do really like the look of it. I like the little fences right over here with the ropes. Like, no, there's no rope, like, tied at the same way. And I like that. That is just giving it, like, this extra, extra part of detailing or extra. I don't know how to say that, but it, it just works. Oh, we have a cassowary here. Oh, look at this again, like this tree branch, how you put this down. I would have never thought of using it like that, but obviously why not? But I don't know. It, it looks really good. 
Oh, this is really so inspiring. This looks really nice. Oh, man, I miss building habitats for the cassowary. I should do it more often. They are so beautiful. Such an amazing creature, aren't they? So, okay, that is the orangutan habitat. So now we go around here. What do we have? Oh, we have some tapirs! Oh, look at that. They have a nice area to swim, to cool down. Aww. And then they have like this really cool shelter building. I like how you set this up with all these temple pieces and stuff. That looks really good. Also love the rock work here as well. I am guessing you did pay attention to what kind like the amount of foliage they like. Like instead of like sandbox mode and me just throwing everything in, you, you may have paid attention to that as well. Oh man, this looks so nice. Really nice habitat. Uh, I hear some capuchin monkeys, but I'm not really sure. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. This is a backstage. I really like how you use these temple pieces here. That works so well. Also, notice the planter right over here. Like, in between, you have, like, this fence. It looks really good. Very nice habitat. Really nice. Oh, and they have like this little cave area or cave shelter area. And then oh, I love these these things on top of it. It just gives that extra part of detailing again. I really like that. That looks really nice. And then we have the jaguars. Oh my god, look at this cool temple piece. That looks fantastic. Not entirely sure. Is this the, the blueprint that comes with the pack? No, I don't think so. I think you made this one yourself. And even, <laughs> not that it really matters, but I just kind of feel like I recognize it, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh man, it's actually using it. It's going up there. Oh, I love that. Oh, this is looking so cool. Super inspiring. Oh, that's so awesome for the Jaguar that they can, like, be on top of there, in the shade, have some privacy, just ugh, perfectly in the middle. Well, almost. You are just gorgeous. Oh, man, I love the Jaguar so much. But this is a really beautiful habitat. Also, really do like how you uh, set up the walls right over here with that little extra bamboo on the top. It is so creative. Really do like it. Oh my god, look at that. You even have like this miniature of it. Seriously, that's amazing. Oh, that is so impressive. Uh, we can actually go on top of here even. And oh, you can even go down there. Is this like going all the way around the habitat or something? I hear the capuchin monkeys. You can see the jaguar from the other side. Oh, look at that. Oh, that rock work is so cool. Look at the climbing frames. Oh, absolutely love this. This looks really good. And then you can go down here. You even have like this little peek into a backstage area. Oh, I love this. This is so impressive. Really great work, Cedric. Really well done. So let's just follow this path because I hope that there will be a more different path uh, going that way. But look at this. We have some a really cool barn right over here with some snobby llamas. <laughs> this looks so good. Oh, wow. I really love what you did here with the foliage work and the contrast here with the red. It looks so beautiful. And you can be so close with the llamas here. <laughs> I really love this. Oh, there's another snob. <laughs> okay, well, can we also look inside? <laughs> Can't help it. They're just such snobs. Oh, you can even see on the inside. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I love how you did this. Oh, I love the roofing here as well. Yeah, this is this is really cool, really inspiring. 
Oh my goodness! Look at that. You have a little car right over here, and the people can get some gold. Oh man, I need to focus more on these little things. This is fantastic. This is. Oh, this looks absolutely incredible. Really inspiring. Really love it. This is so good. There are so many things. You, this is one of those zoos again where you need to go in and just make screenshots, being like, "Oh yeah, I want to do this," or "I want to use that." Really super inspiring. Love that little、uh, cabin here in the water. Is there like? A, is this like a habitat as well? There is a toy right there, so I. Feel like it is. Can we go in there? Oh no, we are not allowed to go in here. But, but, but there's a bridge. I want to go over that bridge. Oh no, it's an animal's bridge. Oh, it's for the staff as well. But what is in here? Look at this little thingy. Oh, I love this. This is so good. It's like small. It's very simple shape, but it has so many details on it. It looks so good. It really looks good. Oh wow! This is like built with piece by piece with planks and stuff. That's so impressive. Oh, we have the follow deer. Hello, beauty. Oh my goodness, they are so pretty, aren't they? You gotta love this habitat. This is fantastic. Absolutely great job on this habitat.、Uh, did we miss out? No, I think this is the wall of the of the zoo on the outside. So we're just gonna continue. And、uh, what do we have here? Camp Pollux. Oh no! You're kidding! It's like a camping place or something. It looks so cool. <laughs> That is really cool. I love these structures. It's some kind of lighthouse or something. Or no? How do you call this? I know there is a name for it, like a watchtower, probably. I think something like a watchtower. But correct me if I'm wrong. Not a lighthouse, silly lady. <laughs> Okay, we have the European badger. Uh, uh, oh, oh, you're actually walking over their habitat. Oh, look how cute this is with that little waterfall and a little pond. Oh, this looks so nice. I love the locks here. How you use them? I never use these locks, but I should. They look fantastic. It works so well. Little burrow. Oh, this is so great.、Uh, should we should we go there or should we continue? Oh no, this is a dead end. So we should go towards that building that says Pollux up or something. Does it say that? Yes, Pollux up. What is this? This is a restaurant. You can go inside of here. It looks like a container. That is so cool. Oh, that's a really smart idea! Look at this, and it even has like this window right over here for some daylight. Oh, I absolutely love this. This is so original. I've never seen anything like this before, but it works so well. That's so cool. Really well done. So then we go up, and we look. And so there's another beautiful cabin right over here. But what kind of habitat is this? I cannot see what animal this is made for. What? What's in this habitat? There's a bear sign. Maybe it is a bear. Is that a bear? It is a grizzly bear. Oh, you're kidding me! Oh, what a cute habitat for the grizzly bear. Nice little little river where they can swim and drink.、Um, are we going the right way? That is what I wonder. I feel like we should just continue here to the right side.
to make sure that we don't miss out on anything. I sometimes do, and I feel so bad afterwards when people tell me, Oh, you still miss out on a habitat. I'm like, no! Oh, look at this. I love how you use these uh, pillars or beams to split this off. Oh, that's really cool. They have a little... Can they go in the water? Yes, they can. They can from here. What a beautiful, interesting elephant habitat. I like this. Feels like something we have never seen before. I think you did a really great job on this. It feels very original and inspiring. It looks really good. <laughs> I think the elephants like it too. I really like this. I like the, the kind of fencing you're using and stuff. That really looks good. Yes, exactly that. <laughs> My words. <laughs> also, very beautiful habitat right over here. I like your rock work. And the use of this, the, the tree trunks, it looks really good. So this is like an elephant house. Oh, it actually is called an elephant house. Love how you use the statue here. Okay, we go inside. Look at that. Oh, that's really cool. I really like how you uh, gave it more of this realistic touch here with the fences and stuff. I love the daylight coming into this building. Looks really nice. Also, like splitting off the, the plants right over here to kind of make sure that the elephants cannot ruin it all. Oh, really great job. Absolutely well done. So this is the white rhino habitat. Oh, this is looking also really nice. I love the rock work here around it. Oh, and there is also an ostrich in there. This looks really good. Yeah, this looks really nice. Really like it, how you set up this habitat. Looks really beautiful. And they can also go into the water, right? If they want to like cool down for a little bit. Or, like, clean themselves from the mud pool. Really nice habitat right over here. Uh, what is this? Oh, yes, we saw this on the other side just now. Also looking very good. And then they have this really nice shelter building. They have some toys. Rubber band or rubber tire. Very nice. Really like how you set up this whole zoo. So you can go up right over here. Ooh, some lions. Also notice the fencing here. Oh, that looks so good as well. Oh, I really like that. Oh, I really do. Love the rock work. Also love how you use the jeep in this habitat. This looks really nice. Oh, you can even see the lions here from behind the glass as well. I like the variations with the viewing galleries. It's really looking good. So they have a shelter building. And then on this side, what is on this side? So naughty warthogs. Oh my goodness. I almost missed out on you funny little creatures. My favorites. <laughs> you can hear it right away. Why? <gasps> yes. 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 <laughs> I just love it when they do this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the noises they make. They just made me so happy. God, I love the warthogs. They're just so cool. And I love this habitat. It looks really good. Love the rock work around it. Yeah, I really do like this. They have a little little shelter building right over here with the keeper's gate hidden behind this door. And then we continue. What do we have? Ooh, giraffes. Oh, look at this fencing here as well. Take notes. It looks really good. Works super well. Oh, the rock work looks so good as well. Foliage work looks good around the whole habitat. This is very impressive. Really like how this habitat looks. Wait, what is this on this other side? Look at this beautiful building. Wait, what is that? <gasps> we have a Fennec Fox statue. Tell me there's a Fennec Fox in here. Oh my 
goodness, look how beautiful this looks. Oh, what a fantastic area. Oh, I love this. Yes, we have the Fennec Fox. <gasps> I really like this habitat. I feel you have, I don't know, you, you're doing things different from other people. It's so original and uh, I don't know. I really have respect for how... <laughs> Oh my god, I've never seen this before! <laughs> it makes me wonder if they're fighting or playing? <laughs> it doesn't look so nice. Oh, that one! Oh, did you see those ears? <gasps> oh my god. Okay, maybe they were fighting for like an alpha status. Oh, but this one looks wounded. Are you wounded? <gasps> you are injured! Okay. I was laughing, but it's actually not so funny. Oh, the poor thing! Oh my goodness. But, okay, what I was saying, I really have respect for, like, the way you are setting up your habitat. I feel like it's so different from a lot of other zoos that we have seen. I really have respect for that. You really, uh, really do a great job on that. Just uh, make it all feel a little bit more original. You have some really great ideas for your habitats. I really do like that. Um, so if we go around here, because else we're going to miss out on anything. So we have a beautiful giraffe habitat right over here and a nice shelter on that side. I feel like you can even walk on the other side. Uh, we need to make sure that we're not going to miss out on any habitat in there. I think this is the Niala. Yes, it is. Also a very beautiful habitat. I also like it that you have like different parts of the area have different style of like buildings and you really, you really paid attention to that as well. I really do like that. So using like different materials, different colors and stuff. Look at this. What is that? Ah. <gasps> Oh, there are some lemurs here. You can go inside of their habitat. Oh, I love the rock, rock work and the foliage work right over here. Oh, this is so smart, actually. So the gates are open, but you did make sure. I'm guessing there are some, yeah, there, there are some, some grass right over here. Probably also under the flooring. Or is this just working? I mean, if this works, that's great. Or maybe it's just thin enough, or... I don't know. You Oh, tell us your secret. <laughs> I love how you set this up. Oh, there's also the, the black and white of lemurs in here. Oh, man, this is such a cool habitat. I love this climbing structure here as well. Look at that beautiful... Oh, my God, I love this as well. There's the box, box animal. Look at this beautiful waterfall. That's gorgeous. Really pretty. Oh, really like this climbing frame as well. That is looking so good. Oh, we also have the red rough lemurs in here. What a great habitat. This looks really good. Super impressive. Really like this. And it's also tropical, and then, oh, they can climb over the path and stuff. It's also such a big habitat. I actually didn't expect it to be so big. Oh, really, really nice job. Great work, Cedric. Really impressive. Okay, so we have seen the ring-tailed lemur. This is probably a backside path coming from yeah it's it's going from the elephant house to the back so there's not a different habitat on that side i think so i think we should just continue right over here wait this is the the ring tilt lemur that we just came from so we should just follow this path right over here and see where we end up so we have the nialas on the left side what is this this might be like a, a sun bear or something like that. Yes, it is the sun bear. Look at this. What a cool bridge as well. I like it how you use... It's only the Asian pillars, the, the stone support pillars. 
And it works really well as a bridge. That looks really nice. Wait, this is not these stone pillars. What are these? The North African plaster trims. Oh, yes. And then just color it in gray and you can use this for the bridge as well. This looks really good. Also, really nice work. Should we go over this bridge, though? Or is there something here that we have not seen yet? This is a little drinking area. I hear hyenas. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, again, I love your rock work here. What are you doing? Are you also fighting? <laughs> Sounds like they're laughing, but... <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you kidding? <laughs> Should not laugh, but... I, I just love seeing all these new animations. Like, for me, these are... I, I played this game for, like, September 2019, guys. It's almost three years. And I just see things during these zoo tours, which I just never seen before. And I absolutely love it. I really like the rock work here. And then that they have, is this like a tunnel or is this a cave? So they have a little cave underneath here. And there's even a viewing gallery here. This looks so extremely good. I really like this. Really great work. Oh, there's even like a food truck. Oh, absolutely love this. There are penguins here. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh, look at this. Oh, I also really do like that. Like this house and like the fencing here as well. What kind of beams are this? Is this the African? Oh, they are the North African. Oh man, that looks so good. Oh, I really love the look of that. Really nice. Oh man, it's so warm right now in the Netherlands. I want to just jump in as well and cool down. <laughs> oh, absolutely love this. This is such great work. Look at this as well. I like the different height elevations in this one. Oh, this looks so good. I feel like we are a little bit lost in the middle now but i i i think we're doing a good job because we're else missing out on the house has we have some meerkats here look at this little thingy i love how you put that together i love the fencing here as well you are so original and creative with your fencing absolutely love it it's so good i want to see this i want to see how this works exactly wait I'm so impressed by this meerkat's habitat. The rock work is so good. I really like this. What a great meerkat's habitat. So if we go around here, uh, there should be a way. Oh, look, you can even look inside. The actual little detail with the orange colors. Oh man, this is so good. Oh, I, th I think your meerkat's habitat is one of my favorites so far. You can go inside here. Look at this. This is so cool. Oh, man. I absolutely love this. This is really... Oh, look at that hat. Someone lost its hat. Oh, man. This is so fantastic. How, where is there a hat in this game? Why did I never see? Oh, the Connelly hat. I, I'm, I'm like, what? There are hats in this game? <laughs> I love this, this little area so much. I'm just so impressed by how you put this all together. It looks so extremely good. Like, wow, I, I'm just, yeah, th this is just such great work. Um, okay, so we... Oh, there's some artworks here as well. I really like how you use, like, this architecture. Like, it, 
It's such a great way of building a zoo and giving it like this this thematic vibe around it. It it looks really good. Love the shading things as well here. Oh, look at that. We have we have like this little shopping area as well here. Wait, oh wait, we came from the other side here, right? Yes, okay, this is the fan also notice like the, the fencing here on the Fennec Fox habitat. Also like these pillars, everything. It, it looks so good. I'm um, um you really need to download this one and just walk around yourself because I feel like we are missing out. On so many great details still. It's so impressive. Okay, so we have the penguins, Miala, uh, Meerkats. What was there in the corner? Oh, yes, we have already seen this as well. Uh, wait a second. So we have some chimps here, I think. Oh my god, look at that. This climbing frame is uh, absolutely fantastic. You guys, I just want to see animations. I'm just... Ah, oh, shoot, we're just too late. We were just too late. I just, I just love... I just enjoy that so much. But what a great habitat this is as well. Absolutely love the climbing frame and the rock work here as well. It looks so good. Um, so how shall we walk? I feel like we have not... Okay, we, we are not allowed to go there. Oh, this is the viewing gallery from the top with the hyenas. It looks so good. Really, such great work. Um, so we just followed this path. Uh, this path it is. Um, what do we have? Oh, yes. Okay, so we have the Asian area right over here what is that oh there's a there's some malaysian tape here i love this little building that looks really nice also really do like the the back side here like i always tend to use some <laughs> tree trunks or rocks but this is also such a great way of having like this this just a wall around it i mean it looks just really good also really like this fence you really got a good eye on the fencing, it looks so good. You do such a great job on it. Um, what is this? What kind of bear is that? Himalayan? A Formosan black bear. Oh yeah, you're a little bit dark because of the shade. So I thought maybe, maybe. Look at this, what a great habitat this is as well. Oh, hi, I wanna see what you did here. With the fencing. Oh, oh, also very interesting way. Also using the knot from, I think it was the Africa pack, right? I don't think I ever used them myself. But this looks so good. Really love the rock work. They can even go underneath here and have their little shelter building right over there and some privacy, of course. Rock work is, is looking really good. Foliage work is looking really good really lovely habitat Ooh, baby rusa what are you doing here oh i did not know they could wait what did you just came out of that mud bath and then just threw like some mud right over here i think so i did not know they they did that actually maybe i did maybe i did but i just never seen it that awesome oh my god are you going are you are you Yes, that one is. No, no, yes, no. Ah, unfortunately. I I don't think so. They're not gonna play in a mud bath for us. But man, what a great habitat here as well. You I you can tell that you're using a lot of the aquatic rocks. It doesn't bother me at all. It actually looks really nice in every habitat, and you're doing it different in every habitat. I really like this. I, I do not know what what way I should go to. <laughs> I feel like I'm a little bit lost now. Oh, what is this building? Ooh, Indian peafowl. Oh, this looks pretty. This looks really beautiful. Some kind of greenhouse but it's so peaceful and so relaxing 
How beautiful. I like this. You, you did something here that would keep them in. I, I want to know how you did that. Wait. Oh my god. There's an albino. Oh, that's so pretty. That is so beautiful. Wow. But you did something here and I wonder what it is. If it's like just small enough or that there's something hidden on the under the ground. I really want to know. <laughs> oh man, I like these food trucks. Did not use them myself yet. I really need to. It looks so good. Um, so this was, did we see it? We, did we see this one? Oh no, this is the Indian Rhino. Oh my god, look how you used this with the like plaster pieces. Oh, I love this. It feels so realistic. Oh, it keeps getting better and better. Fantastic job, Sandrake. Absolutely love this. So this is, is this a different elephant or is this the same elephant? No, this is a different elephant. Look at that. Look at this. Oh my. That looks so good. That's fantastic. I'm not sure if you download this one or that you build this one, but you should share it on the workshop if it's yours. <laughs> and I'll share the blueprint with us because this is... I don't know. It looks so good. With all the green on top of it. Wow. Absolutely love this. That looks fantastic. I, I love this habitat as well, by the way. Looks really good. Really nice work. So we can go down right over here. Oh my gosh, there are more. Look how amazing this looks. Oh, wow. This is so impressive. The rock work, the climbing frame. This is so cool. Also really like it that you give them this, this water area so they can swim in front of the guest eyes. What a fantastic habitat. Really amazing work here. And then on this side, what do we have here? What do we have on this side? Oh, we have the, the, not the dingo, the, the doll, Yuzuri doll. Look at that. Also really cool habitat for these guys. Beautiful waterfall right over here. I love the fencing here again. I love the, the wall, how you set this up. It, it looks really good. And now we can go up right over here and then guests can sit down, have a little drink, look inside of the doll habitat from here. Really nice viewing for the guests. And now what do we have right over here? Very cool viewing gallery. <gasps> They're in pandas! Aww. I love these guys. They're so cute. I love these little platforms here as well. That looks really nice. So they have like, oh, they have a shelter building underneath there. And there's some glass on that side. So you can see more from the other sides. You can see more on this side, I think. Yes. Oh. Look at this fencing here again. You're so creative. This is really great work. I like it that they have a feeding plate right over here because it's so much fun to see the giant panda eat. Absolutely love it. There's a little information stand. Or no, just, just a moment. And then we can go around here to the other side. Oh, you can go down here. Wait, let's go down like this. And then you have this beautiful viewing into their shelter. So you can see them sleep and drink. Also looking really good. And what do we have on this side then? Because this, 
feels like the entrance for the Asian area. Oh, this looks really nice as well. I really like this. And do we have an animal on the right side here as well? Did we miss out on that animal? Look at this building. That looks so extremely good. Wow. This is so impressive. I like the different height elevations with the planters here. They even have water in them. That looks so good. Oh, the Chinese pangolin is in here. Nice little habitat, little shelter area. What is this? Yeah, it is a little shelter area. What is inside there? Oh, it's just a little water bowl. This looks really cool. And now what is that? <gasps> there is some uh, some uh, Japanese macaque in here. A little climbing frame in the middle. I'm a little bit sad for them. You have such beautiful habitats and now they have like this. I hope they have a have a concrete or something outdoor. Okay, they do. They do. Because else this will be very barren for these uh, Japanese. Oh, Japanese macaque. Uh, where do we get out? Okay. But they do have an outdoor area right over here. <laughs> I'm so happy for them. Oh, and what kind? Oh, wow. Oh, again, this is so impressive. I really like how you are using these um, these logs together with these tree trunks. I just would never think of that, but it just looks so good. I'm definitely going to use this. Like these these kind of climbing frames instead. I always tend to start using the climbing frames that you see in the habitat section, but actually this looks insanely good. Love the rock work here. Look at the be ooh, sorry. The beautiful waterfall on this side. Oh, this looks so incredible. Really, absolutely lovely habitat for the Japanese macaque. Is that a red pen? Um, yes, it is. Oh, oh, it's gonna sleep. Also, very nice habitat here. Lovely spot for the red panda. They can even climb up here, so the guests can see them up close if they want to. What a lovely area here. Ah, uh, where should we go? Oh, what is that? What is this? Ah, <gasps> that's a binturong! Oh my goodness. What a cool way, like, making this big cage. Absolutely love this. This is so inspiring again. What a great zoo. Really so impressive, but no, we are not going to see the Binturong hanging on their tail again. Nope, nope, nope. We are not lucky at all. Uh, ooh, hippos. Oh, they have such a big water area to enjoy. They must love this. Oh, there is an underwater viewing. We need to go there. Can we, can we go there from here? Ooh. Look at this, you have some exhibits. But this is not what I was looking for. Ooh! I was looking for the outs. Ooh, oh my goodness, I need, I should, it makes me so dizzy to look at this walls. Oh yes, we can, uh, we can go underneath here. Oh, that's really cool. Guests gotta love this when there is a hippo swimming or walking on the water surface. Oh man, this is this is looking so good. Really like it. But I, I cannot <laughs> all these beams so up close. It makes me dizzy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Man, I really love how you set up this habitat right over here. Looks absolutely fantastic. What way shall we go for? We see the hippo on that side. Did we miss out on anything right over here? This just looks like a beautiful pond right in the middle. Okay, let's just follow this path right over here. I I completely 
lost the way. Is this the... Yes, okay, oh. Oh. Okay, yes, they, they, they do not like each other that much either. We have a lot of fighting issues in this zoo. <laughs> oh, yikes. It's just... I, I just turn everything off. I, I just don't see fighting normally. But now we have the franchise mode settings. Oh, wow. So now we do see all the fighting animations, which is actually silly that this is for me the first time seeing all these animations. But Frontier did a fantastic job on all these animations. Um, we did see this. I have the feeling we missed out on a part of the zoo, so I'm going to check that real quick. Yes, okay, so from the Bintrong habitat, we should go to this path right over here because we did miss out on some habitat at least. What is this? This is going down. Look at this cool structure right over here. So what kind of habitat is this? It should be something diving. There's a rubber ducky in here. What is it? I don't see an animal. Ooh. Wait, oh, <laughs> it's a, uh, the, is it the dwarf or the spectacles came in? I, I cannot really tell. I have not built a habitat for, I, I think this is a dwarf came in, but I could be wrong here. If we go down, can we maybe see them swim? I don't see any of them. They are really tiny. I do not see any caiman at all. Nope. Nope. We're in a zoo, guys. Not always do you see any animals, unfortunately. All right, let's go and follow this path because we should be seeing what? That's really cool. I think this is some kind of, for some kind of bird's nest. They could live here if they want to. I do like that you added that little detail. I love that. Um, I do not see any animals in here. Look at this building. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love this building. This is so well made. Well done. Oh, we have a tortoise right over here. Oh, what a lovely habitat for them. Oh, this is so impressive. It looks so beautiful. Is there another tortoise on this side? There are. They're eating. Oh, what a lovely habitat. Really, really like this habitat. Love the foliage work, the rock work in here. And the structure itself it looks so good. Really, absolutely well done. So, oh gosh, where do we go? There's a building right over here. And there's a path right over here. I hear the capuchin monkeys. So that might mean that we are... We, we did go around, but I do, I, I did not see that yet, did we? Okay, there is a tortoise building. Absolutely love that building. This, this looks like some kind of bear bridge. Oh yes, okay, this is um, where we came from, from the start. This might be, oh yes, this is the other side of the bear habitat. So then we should go to this side. Oh yes, okay, so we have the other side of the capuchin monkey habitat. Look how beautiful this looks with all these temple pieces and stuff. Absolutely love the climbing frames as I just mentioned already, but really, really do like that. And then you have, oh, look at that. A little peek into their indoor shelter area. And then right over here, there's a little bridge. I'm not sure if there is actually an animal swimming here because I do not really see any fences. But you can get like a nice walk 
over the bridge right over here. And what is this? What is this? What are you? Cannot tell. You're now monitor! Oh, wow. I really like your rock work here as well. And also the fencing here with the glass. Oh, this looks so good. Actually, I think, yeah. Oh no, these are piece by piece. I actually thought this was the, the, the fencing and then with like windows and then you cover the frames of the windows with the pillars, but it's not. Oh wow, really, really like this habitat. Absolutely love the rocks and the foliage work. It looks so good. Uh, what do we have here? A little seating area with some shelter. Also really nice looking. Okay, this is backstage. The building for the now monitor. Can you go inside here? No, but you can look inside here, which I also really like. This looks really cool too. So now I wonder if we did see everything because I do feel like we have been walking around now so one more check no i seen i see a statue no i do not see a statue i thought there was like a sioux or california sea lion statue but we have not been here beautiful waterfall here as well look at this i hear flamingos i hear flamingos but this is not flamingos this is a gary habitat but that does mean that we hear flamingos, so there is still a part that we have not seen yet. Also really like this habitat here. I like it that they have like these shelters on the sides and just some water and land in between. They can really choose if they want to relax in the sun, in the water, or get some shelter. I like that. I think we have not seen this whole side yet. This bridge we walked over. Oh my goodness, look at this. We have some flamingos right over here. What a beautiful habitat here as well. And pretty up close to the flamingos, which is really cool. I love the, the rocks here on the edge. That looks really nice. Very nice habitat. And then on this side, oh, there's not a habitat, but just beautiful foliage work here as well. Absolutely love it. Oh, wow. What is that? <gasps> what is this? Animal adoption. <gasps> Look how impressive this looks. This is incredible. I love the shape things right over here. This is such a great habitat. Or like great viewing area in general. Like it looks just amazing. And the guests can sit down. You can have like the animal talk with a lot of information for the, uh, for the gray seals. Oh, wow. Really impressed by this area. Especially these frames just make it amazing oh wait there's actually seating areas here as well so the guests cannot stand they will sit down here oh this is so incredible what a fantastic area here cedric and we can go around here and then you can go to the top look at this such a great area Great rock work here again. Really, really well done. On this gray seal habitat. Looks fantastic. Look at this. The, the rock work, the flowers, the foliage work. What, where is this going? We want to see. <gasps> Penguins! Yes! King penguins. What a cool one they're out of viewing again. Great rock work again. Oh man, this is so good. Are they actually eating? Is something coming out? Because I don't see any fish. 
It's so random. Sometimes you do see fish, sometimes you don't. It it looks like they're they are like eating or waiting for food. I don't know. But this looks fantastic. It really does. <laughs> don't go too close. Am I the only one that feels that way? If it's so close, I'll be like, Ugh. it's making me so nauseous. These these walls. It's nothing to do with you, Cedric. You can, you can help that, but whew. wow. Oh, look at this, even. Fantastic. What a great, great King Penguin habitat. And what do we have on this side? It's a kind of restaurant, seating area. Absolutely fantastic. So can, they can buy some food and drinks. And then we go around here. Now what do we have here? What is that? Wait, is this uh, the giant otter again? Wait, what? That... Oh, God! <laughs> oh my goodness, this is just the entrance! What? Oh my goodness, okay. Let's have a look from the top. Because I... I am so impressed by this. This looks absolutely amazing what an amazing amazing zoo like really it is this this was the gray seals and uh, did we see this in the corner right over here it doesn't look like it i do not recognize this look how beautiful this looks right over here did we see this no i don't think so <gasps> there are some tigers no we definitely did not see any tigers Look how awesome this looks. So up close here. Some education. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I love like the, the pillars here with the green combination. Looks insane. Where are we? What is it? Where is this going? This is going up right over here. That goes up right over there. Oh wow, look at that. Some beautiful waterfalls here. Love the rock work here. Again, looks amazing. Foliage work looks great. This is so impressive. So, wait, did we did we see this house at? I don't think so. What is this? Clouded leopard. There are like all kinds of big cats in here. This is looking so good as well. I really wonder how we did miss out on this whole area right over here. It's beautiful. We did see the elephants. We did see the elephants. So I think, yes, yeah, so now we go back right over here. And then we had the Yuzuri doll habitat. And did we miss out on anything? No, this is the giant panda. Okay, okay, so we did miss out on that little corner. Let me just check the animals list just to be entirely sure. So I, I think we missed out on two habitats. So we have the fennec fox right over here. And right over here, there are some hidden camels, hidden rooties. <laughs> I really do like this habitat as well. Well, it was really hidden away. Like I did not see it. I just well, went back right over here. Oh, we have some camels, and they're so up close, which is really cool. I really do like that. And then the last section that we missed out, we have the capuchin monkey right over here, and then we can go uh, with this path underneath the rocks. And then continue, and then we get to a little Australian section. So we have some cute koalas in here. Look at all these uh, trees and, and climbing frames here. Some nice rock work. Some happy koalas. I do wonder why they're always on the floor when I see them. They're never climbing. <laughs> Which is not exactly how you, uh, what you expect. Oh, there is one climbing, but that is not really what 
But you should be climbing. You should be climbing the trees, little koala. You're so naughty. You're probably gonna do something really wonky now. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, that, that's also an idea. <laughs> and then we have some rat kangaroos right over here. Also nice habitat. And then, again, like really nice rock work and stuff. All looks really good. You really did such a fantastic job, Cedric. Really, congratulations with this beautiful and gorgeous zoo. I really do hope that I did not miss out on anything else. Look how humongous this is. Absolutely incredible. Congratulations with this amazing work, Cedric. And of course, everyone watching right now, please do let me know in the comments down below what you all think of Pollock Zoo made by Cedric. Leave something nice for Cedric in the comments down below. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.